Welcome once again to another episode of Import Lay. What the hell? Triangle and square walls, displaced window sills, buildings that look like they're about to tilt over. What is all this? Oh, wait, it's just German expressionism. Whew, I thought it was something serious. Anyways, welcome once again to Import Legacy. German Expressionism is a stylish look used to create a morbid, surreal world to convey an emotional effect on the audience using bright, clashing colors, flat shapes, and jagged brush strokes. The style took influence from artists like Vincent van Gogh, Edvard Mulch, and El Greco, beginning in the 1920s by, you guessed it, Germany. This is part of an expressionist movement occurring at the time in both North and Central Europe, not just in film, but also architecture, dance, painting, and sculpture. Earliest film examples can be seen mainly with silent horror films like Cabin of Dr. Caligari, The Golem, and Nosferatu, even lost films that precede these examples. However, this doesn't just relate to horror, but also science fiction, with Fritz Lang's Metropolis. Being the first feature-length film of the genre, it would have an overwhelming futuristic landscape and a huge gothic cathedral. Impressive considering this was 1927. Big props to Eugene Chiffon for making the world feel so real and ahead of its time. German Expressionism may be known for the visual aspects, but the narratives complement their visual style. Robert Wines Caligari for its psychological aspect, with the characters we follow all being inmates in an asylum, including Francis the main lead, making the audience question who is truly in the right and in the wrong. Another being the commentaries on the political aspect of Europe, Metropolis containing themes of industrialization and mass production, elements which stem from World War I. Several modern directors have been influenced by the style. Most prominent would be Tim Burton. Many of his films containing spirals, dark, mainly black and white colors, and even the presence of certain characters like Edward Scissorhands, who does bear a bit of a resemblance to Caesar from Caligari. Another prominent example would be his adaptation of DC's Batman, Gotham City containing angular buildings to invoke a looming and menacing presence. Hitchcock was influenced by German Expressionism thanks to an assistant director and art director job in Berlin on the film The Blackguard, 1924. According to BBC's Paul Merton looks at Alfred Hitchcock, Hitchcock quoted saying, I acquired a strong German influence by working at the UFA studios in Berlin. The best example I believe is his masterpiece Vertigo. Two prominent examples being the opening containing all kinds of spirals, the other being the groundbreaking cinematography known as the Vertigo effect, creating a surreal look that appears to undermine moral visual perception. It was a revolutionary style in the 20s and will continue to inspire many more in the future. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Until then, and see you next time.